first of all, would be to Niagara Falls itself and to try to understand what this landscape uh, actually looks like. I mentioned earlier that photographs uh, are, are very interesting documents because they seem to be transparent windows into this site. And yet, at the same time, this is not all that Niagara is, that this transparency ha is not so, well, that this is a very constructed image. And so I would sort of understand where else could he have set up his camera? What other perspectives could he have used to, to shoot this picture? I'd also look at, at, at guidebooks, guidebooks to Niagara Falls. Where are the tourist developers, the hotels and the railroads, encouraging uh, people, visitors, to, to go to, to see these particular images? For oftentimes there are elaborate descriptive texts that shape how one navigates one's experience at a place like Niagara Falls. Interestingly, many of these tourist guidebooks were illustrated with engraved reproductions of photographs mm. by Babbitt. In a sense, holding out the photograph, here it is, uh, this is what you're looking for, this is your goal in, in, in a sense. And then of course, another level of research involves trying to understand Babbitt as a businessman. How did he make a living? Is all that he did landscape photography? Was there a market in the 1850s for uh, simply landscape photography? Who is underwriting him? What is the machinery responsible for creating the tourism's infrastructure at a place in Niagara Falls? One thing right away that you think about is, of course, the railroads. And there is some evidence that in looking at railroad uh, archives related to uh, lines that went to the falls, that Babbitt was being commissioned to take photographs, that these railroads were buying his images to be used in their promotional materials. I think looking at, at local newspapers that speak to his sort of business at this very specific site. And what you learn, of course, if you, if you do that type of archival research is that uh, Babbitt had a, a thriving studio right on Main Street in Niagara Falls, that he had commercial arrangements with souvenir shops at the site itself, uh, that he had a little business pavilion uh, right next to his pavilion here uh, at, the, at, the, at the brink of the falls, so that Though we only see in the image itself a bunch of tourists lined up in front of the fall, in fact, behind the picture are, is, is a vast world of information about Babbitt that I think allows us to, to better understand how we get to this.